So a very unique situation here. Swan coming in basically from down under and Atlas coming in from above. They both could be sharing a perihelion date at the end of the month and Atlas looks fairly strong. But Swan is coming in at around the same time. Don't know too many details about Swan yet as it's very, very early, but we're going to be watching that one. Behold, the Lord maketh the earth empty and maketh it waste and turneth it upside down and scattereth abroad the inhabitants thereof. One of the most interesting records comes from the artifact discovered in the Mawangdi tomb dated to the Han Dynasty, where archaeologists found comets illustrated on silk and their corresponding explanations. This is not the oldest record of comets, but it is the oldest illustration with descriptions that we have of comets. And those descriptions, by the way, are all predictive. Now, not all the comets are bad, but most of them are bad. You got war, death, disease, grief, war, famine, more war, good crops, but internal war, battles in specific places, and uh, yeah, more war. Every man's sword shall be against his brother. And I will plead against him with pestilence and with blood, and I will rain upon him, and upon his bands, and upon the many people that are with him, overflowing rain and great hailstones, fire and brimstone. Thus will I magnify myself and sanctify myself, and I will be known in the eyes of many nations, and they shall know that I am the Lord. Atlas makes its close approach to the earth on May 23rd, May 23rd, May 23rd, May 23rd. Now this ancient comet visited our solar system approximately 4,400 years ago when the Great Pyramids were being built in Egypt. Just a coincidence that the Great Biblical Flood began approximately 4,350 59 years ago, according to Sir Isaac Newton, a comet was the cause of Noah's flood. Happy resurrection season. Happy awesome holy season. We are approaching God's miraculous Israelite second Passover, aka Atlas. The comet Atlas was last seen in ancient Egypt 6,000 years ago during the first Passover, as documented in Exodus 12:23. Prior to this upcoming second Passover, that was the first and only other earthly Passover. This is the first Passover since the 400-year anniversary of the start of slavery in the United States in James Town Colony, Virginia in 1619. So from 1619 to 2019, that equals 400 years. And this is the first Passover since that anniversary. What everyone is calling a comet is not a comet at all. It's actually the Passover. It's to fulfill the covenant God himself made with Abraham starting in Genesis 15:13. Now Comet Atlas, as we know, will be at Earth around, uh, that is passing us. It's not going to uh, impact us, of course. But it will be passing us, we'll be able to see it by telescope and binoculars around May 23rd, and it will be into the sun around May 31st. At the same time, Comet Swan is coming in. Now, Comet Swan was only discovered on April 11th. This one here, Comet Atlas, was discovered on the 19th of December 2019. And it's uh, claimed by the astronomers that it came around at us about the time of ancient Egypt. About 4,000 BC. Comets have been seen throughout human history, around the world. This is a famous scene from English history, 1066, the Battle of Hastings, when William of Normandy conquered England. And if we look at this 1,000-year-old document, we have Harold and his supporters looking at the sky, and they are terrified, because what we see in a corner is probably the most famous comet of all. It's a representation of Halley's Comet, which made an appearance in 1065, 1066. And they are terrified because all over the world, comets have always been regarded as harbingers of death and destruction and bad luck. If you saw a comet, you are not going to have a good day.
Comet Atlas is a very interesting comet. When we found it back in December 2019, few months ago, it was three astronomical units distance. So one AU, one astronomical unit, is the distance from the Earth to the Sun. So it's like three times the distance of the Sun. It was that far away back in December. If you look at it in the month of May, next month, when it comes close to the Earth, it is going to be 0.7 AU. For it to come to the Earth, it only takes like two hours, two hours, two hours. It's moving that fast. The Egyptians became afraid of revolution and instituted a policy of drowning all the Israelite male infants. It was at this point that Jacob's great-great-grandson was born. To avoid death, the infant was hidden in the bulrushes, where he was found by Pharaoh's daughter. The princess adopted him and named him Moses. When Moses grew up, he sided with his oppressed brethren and fled into the desert. Sixty years later, he returned to utter the unforgettable cry, Let my people go. Ten times Pharaoh said no to Moses, and ten times God struck Egypt with catastrophic plagues, ultimately killing all Egyptian firstborn males. Finally, Pharaoh let the Israelites go, but then changed his mind and pursued Moses and his followers to the edge of the sea. It looked like the Israelites were trapped. But then the impossible happened. The sea parted and the Israelites crossed to safety. Moses now led his followers to Mount Sinai, where they received the Ten Commandments, the sacred laws they would take with them to the Promised Land. I will plead against him with pestilence and with blood, and I will rain upon him, and upon his bands, and upon the many people that are with him, and overflowing rain, and great hailstones, fire and brimstone, fire and brimstone, fire and brimstone, fire and brimstone. The seventh plague was the plague of hail, but the Bible describes hail in a very unique manner. The hail was together with ash, with fire. The idea being that the fire and the ice commingled together, they coexisted together. The Bible then describes God as making a miracle within a miracle, taking opposites in nature and having them coexist together. Whenever comets appeared, disease was also appearing. For the ancients, this was a cause and effect phenomenon. It was the duty of astronomer royals to predict their apparition and they did it everywhere. They filled our heart with fear and praise. People knew they are the heralds of the doom.